be just a reminder of that Azimio coalition leader Riley Odinga who is actually holding a rally against President William Ruto's administration in Nairobi Central Business District at Jivanji Gardens. As you can see, Riley Odinga currently addressing the masses. We just want to get a feel of what is being said. Let's cross over and listen in. <laughs> Ndiyo sababu tumesema ati mwenyezi mungu peke yake Ndiyo anaweza kuamua kusaidia Kenya Lakini bibile nasema ati mungu wanasaidia wale Mba wanajisaidia wawo wenyewe Siyo Nataka kwa niyaba ya wanzangu hapa Kutoa shukrani kwa miongozi wetu wa wadini wa, wa Kristo na wa Islam ambao wamefika hapa siku ya leo wametolewa kufika hapa na kukana sisi na kutuambia sisi tulikuwa na muhindu lakini bahati mbaya ye alichelewa hakufika lakini wako pamoja na sisi hata wakala singa wako na sisi hata wale viongozi wa dini ya kienyeji wako na sisi Sio Yesu alisema alisia yule mtu ambaye kila mara kwa mara anasema Mungu 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 atafika katika katika mfalme ya 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 ya, 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 ya Mungu Sasa si tunasema wale ni wanafiki Kila Jumapili wanaingia kanisani Kujifanya hata wanaomba Atimamsha Mungu lakini baadaye wanatenda maovu makubwa zaidi Mwingine nasema ni Kenya ni kampuni Kenya ni kampuni kuna mashares Ali kuna hisa Kuna wale mbawa kuna hisa kubwa Uyo ni Senator Ludama Olekina Halo Halo Ali kuna wale mbawa kuna hisa mingi zaidi Mugini wako na kidogu Mugini ya wana hata kama wewe huna share Kenya hii wewe ni nani? Yaani yeye yeah, hatambue wewe kama mkenya maana yake wewe huna share katika serikali yao. Serikali yao ni wao wenyewe yao wewe. Serikali ya wa Kenya iko na inakuja. Tumesema kama wazimio Ndiwa kamba kila mkenya ni mkenya Ata kama wewe huku piga kura kwa zimio Wewe ni mkenya Ata kama wewe huku piga kura yoyote Wewe ni mkenya Kulu kinya mkenya Anahaki ya kupata huduma kwa serikali Unaki kila mkenya mkubo mba nafanya kazi Anatoa usuru Na usuru yako ndiyo ni hisa yako katika taipa la kenya Lakina atawale watoto ambaye bado wala nyonyeshwa kwa matiti ya mama yao wale ambayo wako kwa shule kwa nasari kwa primary kwa secondary kwa chuo kikuu ni wa Kenya wale mabu ni wa Kenya wale wazee ambayo wa mstafu ni wa Kenya kwa hivyo serikali ya azimio itaangalia maslahi ya wa Kenya wote Bila kutegemea kabila Ati huyo ni mkikuyu Huyo ni mkamba Huyo ni muluhia Huyo ni mkalenjin Huyo ni mwarabu Huyo ni mdigo Huyo ni mjaluo Huyo ni mkisi Huyo ni mkamba Turukana na kathalika Wakenya wote watatambuliwa na sirikali ya azimiu Unaona bile wanazidi kutesa 
wale ambao walikuwa katika serikali ya uhuru juzi unaenda kumtesa bwana Matiangi alafu sasa wanataanza kutesa wakili dancer nomari ameandikia barua na DCI acha wanafanya uchunguzi kwake atatakana kesho afike pale kwa DCI kufanya uchunguzi huyu ni wakili mba anafanya kazi yake ya wakili tunataka kuambia hawa wachana na Matiangi na wachana na um, dancer nomari hawa ni what sasa kijana omondi jana walifika kule kwa bunge kuenda tu kutetea haki ya wa Kenya hiyo walienda pale kufanya tu maandamano ya kiamani nataka kuambia nyinyi kule London Valley House of Commons ukienda utakuta watu hata lufu moja wanafanya maandamano hapo hapo katika bunge ya Uingereza na wanalindwa na polisi hawashikwe na polisi hawapigi tiegas manaka hiyo ni haki yao tunataka si bwana Ruto na watu wake bandia hapa hapa wafundishwe ati maandamano ni halali peaceful demonstration is done in front of house of commons in the uk it is done in, fr in front of the white house in the united states of america in front of the congress of america people peaceful demonstration is allowed is protected demonstrators are escorted by police kwa hiyo tunaambia hawa watu ya kwamba watu wetu wakifanya maandamano polisi wana jukumu ya kuwasindikiza hakika kwamba wako na usalama hiyo ni serikali ambayo inastabika lakini kwa sababu hawa watu sio serikali ambayo tunawatambua wanaweza kufanya mambo ya kinyama namna hiyo lakini siku yao inakuja siku ya 40 inakuja siku ya 40 yao inakuja inakuja inakuja, inakuja. Sisi kama wanazimio tumesema tunataka amani katika taifa la Kenya. Tunataka mtu yeyote popote atishe mkenya. Juzi tulikuwa kule kisi Tukafanya mkutano wa amani kule Keroka, kule Kiumbu, kule Kisi Town. Kesho wakatuma majambazi wakisindikizwa na polisi wakaenda kupiga vijana wetu kule kisi kupiga na kulaumu wa, 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 na kuwajeruhi ati kwa sababu walikuja kwa mkutano wetu tunaambia hata mkitumia nguvu kisikasi gani hamtaweza wa Kenya wanakuja for you Kenya is coming for you mpende msipende kwa hivyo sasa siku ya leo niko na taarifa nataka kusoma hapa Nataka ni somi. Hello. Jivanji Gardens Prayer Point. February 22, 2023. We came here as seekers of truth and defenders of justice. We are seekers and defenders of electoral justice, social and economic justice. We pray that this may be firmly planted in the soils of our country. I want to thank the men and women of God who have spoken here strongly and reminded the country of the warning of Prophet Amos. And I quote, you trample the poor stealing their grain through taxes and unfair and uh, un an unfair treatment therefore though you build beautiful stone houses you will never live in them though you plant lush vineyards you will never drink wine from them you need amos 5:11 3 
in line with our quest for electoral justice and social justice, you have three significant pronouncements to make. First, the cost of living. We have been talking about the rising cost of basic commodities like unga, electricity, diesel, petrol, paraffin, sugar, milk, among others for far too long. We have complained about rising taxes and we have lately talked about children dropping out of school for lack of fees. Withdrawal of, sub withdrawal of subsidies to food and education in the middle of drought and famine was a reckless and heartless. Consequently, the subsidies must be restored, the cost of basic commodities and taxes must come down in the next 14 days. Secondly, electoral deceit must end. Servers must be opened and audited and uh, servers must be opened and audited under auspices of a repeatable firm or organization failure to which we shall lead the people to restore their authority and voice. Five, the ongoing process. Uh, hello? Five, the ongoing process of reconstituting IBC must stop immediately. A bipartisan task force must be put in place to restructure the IBC that ends its monolithic operations. Six. Six, 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 six. If, if these demands are not heeded, within 14 days, we shall lead Kenyans to massive action and to mass action across the country to get their power back and restore sanity. Hello? Hello? As many as that opinion say aye! As many as contradictions say nay! The eye service! Okay, live pictures from Jivanji Gardens in Nairobi, just following up on the Azimio prayers where Azimio leader Raila Odinga has just spoken to the masses, uh, pointing out some of the issues they want highlighted by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, even as they held prayers focusing on the cost of living in the country. Apart from that, equally looking at the uh the rains and the drought that is currently ravaging parts of the country we continue monitoring the developments happening in jivanji gardens of course we'll keep you updated in our subsequent